Salutations. This is Terraria. I am Vargo. Actually, I'm Jason Feld, but this guy is Vargo. And it looks like I planned this just right. I'm standing on my platform with a shelter that I don't need. While I'm at it, I'm going to make sure that I have covering right here. The last part, we made our first home that was taken over by Jack. So we're hoping that this home down here will not be similarly run out. Or over, or taken over. I want a home. Everyone wants a home. Where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play again. Not really. So what else can we make? Ah! Furnace! When you have 20 pieces of stone, 4 pieces of wood, and 3 torches, of which I have 3, we can place a furnace. We'll put this in what it will hopefully be my home. Now we have more items we can craft. We can make bricks. We can make bowls, vases, and pots. Perfect for planting. What we're going to be interested in, though, are bars. Bars come from four. Right now, we don't have much more to work with. Time to go explore. We've already been partway through here. But I'm curious what else is here. The area is too big, especially for a normal sized world. Remember, I came from a tiny sized world. The sunflowers too, which is going to be nice. The sunflowers not only look good, I can't verify if they smell good because this is a digital representation. We have some nice magical protection properties that we will maybe be able to take advantage of later. Now we're gonna want stuff. More stuff. Our plane's front apartment is not yet done. But to properly complete what we need to, we're going to need to do some stuff. Right now, all that we've done is explore the stuff. There's an entire underground. This underground goes quite a number of feet. This was a large map. You can probably get from the top of the map to the bottom. necessarily super big, but it feels big. It feels annoying with these slimes. Slimes. And these are the easiest enemies to deal with. Ah, mushrooms. Mushrooms are good in a pinch for eating. They don't restore as much as lesser health, as lesser health potions, but they're good in a pinch. And this is our first instance of water. You do have to breathe underwater. There is no infamous drowning music when you start running out of air, but thankfully you don't actually immediately die once you are out of breath. You can destroy the land and actually cause some of the water to sink, which may have its uses later. But here's the important part. You actually lose your health and at a very rapid rate once you start to lose all your air. Just simply stay out of the surface for a bit and the air meter will refill. Now, why are there a bunch of stone deposits up there like that? Feels a little suspicious. Right, more coins, more coins, more potions, more torches. More... Copper? Or maybe even iron? It's worth finding out. Wow. Bonus! Iron! Iron!
a hint about what's above. I'm going to try to respect those hints. Hmm. Let's go to make that jump pop. I may want to make it easier for myself and... Ooh! Purple slime. Silver coin. We need possible. We found two possible entrances to stuff that's underneath. Also, put the torch on. Hmm. This is more of a dead end on the bottom part. Getting up to the top will be done later. For now, though, we have ourselves a cavern to explore. This will be one of the first proper tests. Ooh! We also have the first brother. Just back too dark, too dark, too dark. Right click a chest and we can see its contents. We have the spear. Pretty decent weapon. We have grenades. More freebie cover. Ah, arrows. We now have ammunition for our bow. And wow, 25 coins. Now, this chest is empty, so what are we going to do? We've looted the items inside. Take out your net. Loot the chest itself. With our own chest in our own home base, we can actually store our own items in here. It's getting too dark. And I use up my last torch. Always keep a supply of torches. Because it's nighttime, but because. Good grief, that's a lot of slimes. Alright, I said I would give this bow a shot. <coughs> Try to jump this. Oh, <laughs> 
can go up here and properly see more pots and another pack. More shuriken, torch, torches and shurikens. And what looks like... Ooh, more copper. I want the copper. platform directly on the wall even if it can actually occur. Bit of a tight jump, so I'd rather not chance that. But I'd have to make more platforms. Do so. admit I'm more of an old school type of game. I like my platforms. Platforming. It's like a dying genre. Whoa! I was saying this was a dying genre. But something seems 
silver makes you want to bring it all back. Holy crap, we are having a very good first exploration here. like it. just wood, specifically wood walls. Or it can be dirt walls, actually. Dirt would be preferable. And 
we've gained a merchant, Eugene. I want to say that you get him for having enough money. Except, wait a second. until you get more items that will allow for better mo mobility. Now we just have to make a way back to the house. Look at all the lovely shrimpy trees. Ah, that's a better one. Stay curious about this little piece of floating landmass. Enjoy the sunflowers. Clear the short jump. our first seed. In order to use this seed, we need the blowpipe, which I will remind you we have. Hmm. Now, this actually causes a decent amount of damage. It's the most powerful weapon. But can we make something more? Hi, yes. Eugene a merchant. <laughs> Sun is high, but my prices are not. The merchant will offer you spare pickaxes and axes if you ever lose them. And though, to make even more powerful items, a piggy bank for extra storage. No, chests also allow storage, but we'll cover more of that later. A mining helmet for providing light without needing torches. This is a useful item. I would recommend, if you ever have eight gold to spare and you don't have one, get it. You can, of course, always buy torches, lesser healing potions, wooden arrows, and shuriken. We are interested in this anvil. First, though, we need to make some bars. 20 copper, good haul, for iron. 8 bars, not bad. Plus the 9 we already have, that's 17. Silver requires 4 ores versus 3 to leave these so far. But we still got 12 out of it. I'm just gonna destroy those so that we'll have an easier time getting up here and I want to build my home in peace. Oh yeah, the tombstone. You can choose to edit these tombstones. Set make them say whatever you want. Or if you don't want people to have a Problem? 
what this death is going to stay remembered because it was videotaped. Such is the nature of the digital medium. So now that we have an Iron Man, but we need a place to place it. We need a new home, yet again. Alright. going to be a horizontal could have just used the iron bars. This is what you call an oops moment. I forgot you can just make iron anvils. Nowhere did I say I was a professional. 
That's plenty of walls for the future, and actually also the present. We may as well cover up this whole part with dirt. We can trim out some of the ugly parts later. I know that I don't have a time limit to worry about for YouTube anymore, but I'd still like to try to keep it from being unreasonable. As far as what's unreasonable, I don't know. I know that when it comes to certain Let's Players, they like to respect a certain time limit regardless. I want to say Chugga Conroy and Toby Turner, aka Tabascus, likes to stay with a particular time limit. And I can't blame them. Sometimes certain games just work better with a shorter time limit. And there are others that work better with a longer one. Now here's a curious thing I'd like to test out. Not only can you buy items, but you can sell them. However, note, you can buy for 50 silver, but you can only sell for 10. There's a 5 to 1 ratio of evil. Essentially, Eugene is Adam Smith, and he hates your guts. So now that we have some fortune, what can we need? Iron chain for three bars. This is going to be needed for something very special. Specifically, three of them. Actually, we can jump ahead with some silver bars. I was planning on building a copper watch, but the silver watch... Hold on. I know I, I know Adam Smith hates my guts, but I don't want him to condemn me here. Oh. A chair and a table effectively make their own crafting station. And honestly, I'm sure you guys would prefer that I don't have to guess about the time right now. So, we will make a silver watch. It is right now 9 o'clock. Well, it's not exactly 9. There are three different watch qualities in the game. Copper, silver, and gold. Copper only advances every hour. Silver, every half hour. Gold, by the minute. What else was I going to think about? Well, honestly, I don't know. One of my original ideas was to make higher level pickaxes, but I can't do that right now. Now what I can do is at least get some armor and be somewhat decent. I can make a helmet for the head or greaves for the body. The normal top, I believe, I want to say, is generally five more bars than the grease, so it's the most expensive. However, it also offers the most defense, usually. For now, let's get on some pants. We now have more defense. And since I also know that I don't want to just take anything here... Access at some point. Alright, who wants to bet that within two more parts, someone's gonna occupy my new home? Alright. We have a spear, let's try it. Next part, I'm going to actually 
have a good day.